Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to talk about matched grip. Now, matched grip is a type of stick technique where both hands should basically look the same. Now, this is opposed to traditional grip, where the left hand, in most cases, looks like this. But we're going to deal with that in another lesson. This video is all about the different options when it comes to matched grip. Now, if you are a traditional grip player, you can keep watching this because we're going to talk about the different options uh, for your right hand, or whichever hand does not do the traditional grip. Um, but again, this is all about match grip today, and basically there's three options, or three different schools of match grip, and we'll go through those now. Uh, the first one, um, probably not the first one I was shown, but the first one I like to talk about uh, is French grip. So uh, this comes from a timpani technique. Um, not sure when, but the French uh, timpani player would typically play with his thumbs on top of the stick, uh, fingers underneath the stick, and would drive into his timpani, or today his snare drum, uh, by pushing down with the thumb. And also, to get more power out of the stroke, you can rotate your arm. So it's a matter of rotating your arm so that your wrist takes that power and turns it into a drumstick stroke. So there's a bit of wrist here. Uh, wrist moves moving sideways, a bit of rotation of the arm, and a bit of thumb pushing down. Now, French grip is good because you can also let the fingers do some of the work, uh, especially when it comes to double strokes. And fingers come in handy when you're trying to play really quick, but quiet. I also find the French grip pretty useful uh, for playing on the ride cymbal. Uh, I don't have a ride cymbal here, but of course, on the ride cymbal, um, especially when you're playing on the bell, you're playing all the way over there. And if you're playing an overhand technique, which means your hand goes over the drumstick, uh, your elbow is going to be way back up uh, in the air there. French grip allows you to relax and drive into the ride cymbal with your thumb. So that's definitely one of the advantages of French grip. Um, let's go over to what's called German grip. So German grip, uh, we take that basic idea, that basic um, position of the fingers and thumb, and simply uh, go overhand. So you put your hand over the drumstick. You immediately notice that my sticks are no longer are together and parallel like train tracks. They're more like the corner of a square now. So they're almost at a right angle as they join at the uh, middle of the practice pad there. So uh, this one is a bit more natural for me. Uh, it's what I was taught as a young student. I find it, it makes a little more sense uh, for drum kit players because it allows you to start really drawing power out of your drums and cymbals. Um, it's more about the way the arms and the wrists work. Um, a basic sort of medium volume German grip stroke basically consists of a, um, a flick of the wrist. And so, of course, with the wrist on its side in that French grip style, uh, you can only move it so far. In German grip, we're using the wrist naturally, and we've got that full, basically 180 degrees of motion there and a lot of power. So I think French grip is like shaking someone's hand, uh, German grip, you're waving them goodbye. Okay, let's look at uh, my personal favorite, which is the American grip. And American grip is sort of a hybrid between the two. Um, American grip makes use of the wrist stroke of German grip. And it is a, an overhand sort of grip. But what we're going to do is uh, slightly change the angle of the hand so that the stick now has uh, more travel up in between, all the way up to where the thumb meets the palm. And that's the key to American grip, because American grip is the grip that makes most use of a rebound. And that's what it's all about. Now the other advantage of American grip is that the fingers uh, can tuck in underneath the stick while we still play overhand with our hand over the stick. And that allows you to combine wrist and finger strokes. And some people say that's the real key to American grip, um, using the, the power of the wrist 
while still having the finesse of the fingers there when you need it. So I hope you've enjoyed this lesson on the different sorts of matched grip techniques. Practice hard and I'll see you in the next lesson.